Give me destiny. Welcome to the show. Surveyed 100 people, top seven answers on the board. Give me a reason why you would quit your job. Samuel. You want to start a business? Start a business. You have a difficult boss. You have a difficult boss. Let's play, man. Let's play, let's do this. All right, let's go. Woo. Mike, how you doing, man? I'm doing well on you, Steve. Good, good. What do you do, sir? I'm a banker, Steve. Oh, OK. I like bankers. <laughs> yeah, they watch money. Yeah. Keep good track. How long have you been doing that? 11 years now. 11 years? Yeah. OK, good. Well, introduce everybody. All right, Steve, we're always getting our name mispronounced. Uh, we've had Lambadas before, yeah. but the one we get the most is La 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 Bamba. La 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 Bamba. We are the Luambwas. We are the Luambwas. We here for the money. We here for the money. Thank you, Steve Harvey. Thank you, Steve Harvey. Well, that's good to know I ain't the only one messing up their name. <laughs> Cause I looked at, I ain't know what to do. You know, I, I try to get help with the names backstage before I come out. And they try to help me, but when I come out here, wow. <laughs> Whatever they told me back there just goes away. All right, introduce everybody, Mike. No problem. I'm here with my brothers and my sister. Oh, and okay. uh, to my left is Samuel. He is the foodie of the family. Any hot spots in Johannesburg where there's good food, he'll take you there. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Next to Samuel is Vicky. She's the baby of the family. She's the reason why all the boys carry baseball bats around. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. Next to Vicky is Pascal. He is the oldest one here today, but he's found the fountain of youth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and next to Pascal is Lex. Lex, he likes to cook. I mean, we go to his house all the time because he can cook up a storm. OK, good. Vicky, how you doing? Hey, Mr. Hightower. Wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. I've been called that a few times. <laughs> Vicky, what do you do? I'm an account manager, Steve. Oh, OK. Smart, too. <laughs> You're not married, are you, Vicky? I'm not. You know why? Tell me why. Because you have these four killers standing <laughs> next to you. <laughs> how do you meet a young man and he get past these four people? Well, Steve, the thing is with my four of five brothers, because one isn't here, okay. I got five brothers. You're the only girl? I'm one of three girls. Oh, God. Three girls, five boys. Yeah, OK. OK. So. They have my best interest at heart. Yes, they do. So those baseball bats aren't to scare off a good man, it's just the scums. Oh, yeah. But I know they have my best interest at heart. Because, let me explain something to you. We are men. We know the rules of manhood. They're very simple. The moment you don't follow the rules of manhood, we know it, mm -hmm. period. And you can't have our little sister. You can't have my daughter. Yeah. Oh, it's been a couple dudes got through the back door on me a couple times. <laughs> you know, because my daughters, they live by themselves. A couple of them snuck in, but I got rid of all of them. Oh, you might sneak in for a little while, but I'm going to get you, though. OK. <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> I will spend large sums of money to get rid of you. I will find a way. <laughs> OK. You know, I can't come do it myself, because I'll get sued, I'll lose a lot of money. But I have friends that I grew up with <laughs> who didn't make it out of the hood. <laughs> and for 1500 <laughs> will do anything to you. And that's what it is. But I'm glad you recognize that, that your brothers have your best interests. Yes, they do. All right, let's go. Give me a reason why you would quit your job. Personally, I think it would be if I found a job that pays me more money. Yeah, walking out. Yeah. Found a job that yeah, pays so more. Pasquale, how you doing, man? I'm good, Mr. Steve. Good. What do you do? I run uh, a youth marketing company. 
a youth marketing. Yep. So if you have a brand and you want to market or your target audience is the youth, I'm the guy, the really? go-to guy. Yep. That's a good business, man. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna keep that in mind, man. Give me a reason why you would quit your job. Spend more time with family, Steve. Spend more time with family. They ain't gonna like that, Pasquale. Oh. Mm. You quit your job to spend more time with your family. <laughs> now we all sitting in the house, we can't go no damn where. Cause daddy ain't got no money. Yeah, that'd be rough. Lex, how you doing, man? Good day, Steve. What's your best dish? What dish you like to cook? I cook anything savory. Anything savory? Yeah. Okay, let me ask you a question. Quarter. <laughs> That's simple. That's simple? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. It all look hard to me. <laughs> it, might, it might be simple to cook, but it's damn sure hard to remember how to say it. I know that. <laughs> Bunny chow. Bunny chow. Bunny chow. Bunny chow. Bunny chow. What's in that? Yeah. It's just bread and meat. Just bread and meat? Yeah. Ain't nothing else in there but bread and meat. What kind? <laughs> they say you can cook, though, so I trust them. All right, Lex. Give me a reason why you quit your job. Steve, I'm not a morning person. I hate waking up in the morning. Oh, so, no, Lex. Yeah. Lex. Lex, you cannot say that. <laughs> you cannot say that, Lex. Never say that again. The whole goal in life is to wake up tomorrow. That is the greatest gift God gives us. Breath of life on a daily basis. Gotta, yeah. gotta be a morning person. Man. Now, I'm gonna tell you something, Lex. I used to not be a morning person, and something changed that in me. And ever since then, shh. All right, so now, give me a reason why you wouldn't quit your job, because you're not a morning person. Waking up early morning. Waking up early, I understand. All right, let's see if it's up there. Morning. Oh. All right. Come on, fellas. We gotta be careful. We got two strikes now. The governor, governor, governor family. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Mike, yep. give me a reason why you would quit your job. I think the only reason I would quit my job is for medical reasons. For medical reasons, yeah. yeah. It's a good answer. Medical. Oh. That was a good answer. Give me a reason why you would quit your job. You have a very heavy workload. Yeah. Very heavy workload. <laughs> Number seven. Same old, same old. Six. Wait a minute, what? Moving to another country. Oh, you're leaving to another country. Oh, I thought, I, I thought they came in and found you. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you ain't got no papers. Come on. Come on, shut up crying. Go get in the car. Go get in the car. Get your ass in the car. Been looking for you for three years. You don't belong here. <laughs> you're going back. You're going back. <laughs> Number five. Hey, yo, welcome to Family Feud, South Africa. I'm your man, Steve Harvey, yeah. <laughs> I gots to get them. Boy, you pimping. Thanks. Them pants is pimping. Oh, so you can sauce. Yeah, let's show us something. <laughs> Sound good to me. <laughs> what? Everybody looks, looks, looks. Cute right. guy. Yeah. So now, let me see you blow the kiss now. Hey, man. <laughs> let me see that look. That... <laughs> so bolo. So bolo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. so bolo. Yeah. 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 May I have some so bolo? We do not have it. Oh, my We're God. Going home. We'll see you next time.